Okay guys, so it's Friday and it's time for a update. So, um, let's uh, get down to it. So this will basically be uh, my next build, but before I tell you exactly what it is, but uh, you probably already guessed from the title of the video, but uh, I've uh, done things a bit different this time, because uh, normally I build a figure and then if I think it wants a base, I'll do the base for it afterwards, blah, blah, blah. But this time, uh, I want to change things up a little bit and uh, do something different and special. And uh, so I've uh, actually been working on the base first. And uh, that's what you actually see here. We've got a bit of a grassy meadow going off here with some flowers and stuff going. Uh, scratch built the, the old tree here. Uh, supposed to be a blossom tree, but uh, best I could do. <laughs> uh, but it's not looking too bad. I think I did a pretty good job of it. Um, yeah, I've used some. It's you know I've basically been using some products I've not used before. You know, um, from uh, woodland scenics and stuff. These grass mats you can get, and uh, these flower tough things and I think this is supposed to be fallen blossom leaves and stuff and then there's some like uh, grassy f mixed flowers and stuff but anyway yeah so I've had fun uh, playing about with them uh, maybe I've got a bit more work to do there on the old uh, base there but uh, yeah it's not looking uh, not looking too bad uh, I'll just spin it around in the, on the old turntable so you can get a pretty rough idea of how it's shaping up and so uh, yeah so right getting back to uh, who I'm actually building next and what this is all about uh, when you let's see here's the picture and it's another anime figure this is from uh, oh let me think now I know the character's name is uh, Izumi Sagiri. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but uh, whenever I go, I think it's from uh, Eremanga Sensei. Uh, it's not something I've watched, so uh, forgive me on that. It's just that I just, you know, it's just a figure I liked and, you know, I thought, you know, that's cute. I'll build that, I'll build that. Uh, it's, it is a resin kit. It's, uh, I picked it up off eBay. Uh, it's from. Uh, 2046 I believe so I do believe they are like recasts of the original products so but uh, enough on that so what my intention is here is uh, oh, oh as you see from the picture like she's like kneeling down and she's got like a little pen or paintbrush in her hand or something it looks like she's about to draw or paint something so my idea was that's what I'd have her doing so um, I'll just get the bit of the figure out of the box. Uh, she's not glued together. I've just tacked it together with a bit of uh, sided tape just to give you a rough idea of what I'm planning here. Um, so basically she, she will be uh, sitting there on the old uh, grass there and she'll have a pen in her hand and everything. And, and what I came up with uh, is the idea that she's uh, actually painting or drawing this uh, blossom tree so uh, I've done some extra work other work as well I've actually uh, scratched this built this little if I can just place it on here this uh, little artist easel with the old camp with a canvas on there and I'm just gonna zoom in a bit more so you can Sorry about this guys, but oops, that's fell off, but never mind. Just let me refocus that. Yeah, so basically uh, she'll be uh, sat in the old grass here. And we've got the old uh, easel there, which I've scratched built out of styrene. Even got a little old canvas here, which uh, just drops on there. Show about my shaky hands there. And uh, yeah, so uh, this is what I'm... Uh, going for. I just hope this don't fall over while I'm turning it around. It probably will. Just to roughly give you a rough idea. And uh, yeah, so uh, 
that's my next project and uh, so I did the bass first because uh, I thought the bass uh, was going to take a lot longer than the actual painting of the figure because well, there isn't that much really to do, there's not many colours, probably two or three colours at the most there, let's say look, it's just, it's just, uh, let me see what we've got here, mainly old pink, <laughs> bit of flesh tones and, and not really much to it there so you know there's not going to be a lot of time involved in actually painting the uh, figure, so uh, yeah so and that's why I went that in that direction. Uh, so, um, that's pretty much it guys, uh, so uh, I'm going to be uh, cracking on now with the uh, figure itself, uh, I may, be, may do a bit more work on the base, put a bit more flowers, I don't know if it needs any more or what, I'm, I'm not sure, I don't want to overdo it, you know what I mean, and uh, a bit looking too cluttered or anything, but, uh, but we'll see how it goes, and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, what else? I'm trying to think if there's anything I've missed or anything. I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's been I've had a busy old week and whatnot, which so I'm not had time to catch up on many videos uh, from all the guys. And, you know. um, but I did uh, catch Rich Rich's video last night. I was watching half on it. Uh, Rich, that's uh, Jairus, and I just want to give him a, a shout out for and say thanks uh, for all the uh, for the lovely and um, comments that he made. And, and give me a shout out and everything and praising my work uh, I was just really uh, really appreciated and uh, uh, thank you so much and uh, and thanks for that and uh, and if we bring that title on this uh, this season mate uh, hopefully I can catch up with you in Liverpool because I'll definitely be there so uh, uh, and that's it mate uh, so uh, yeah that's it I'm rambling on and uh, so I'll catch you all guys in the next one and hopefully we'll have some uh, work done on the figure. So uh, thanks for watching guys and listening to me drivel on and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.